In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design a very simple wedding invitation card like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. Here are a few resources that I'll be using in this particular video. I'll leave a link to download it in the description in case you want to download and then you follow suit. To make this tutorial very simple, I've already typed out the test, so I'll be just copying and pasting them. Now let's get into Photoshop. First off, we're going to create a new document. So we go to file and then new, and then we're going to create a new document. Over here, you can select the international paper. For the size, I chose to go for A5 right over here, and then you click OK. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you go to the view new guide and we're going to add a guide that is practically going to guide us into how to position our test and everything. So you're going to type in 50% on the vertical axis and then you click OK. Now the guide is here and ready. The first thing that we're going to add is a solid color. Now we add a solid color because you realize in the intro I showed you two particular designs. So in this case, I'm going for this blue. At the end of the video, I'll try to just change the solid color so that you realize how different it is. Now you go ahead and then you click OK and then you are good to go. You go into your resources. I have this particular abstract background that I got from Google. I'll drag and drop it inside of Photoshop and I'll leave it over here. Now open it up just like that and then you can drag it to this side. You double click on it and you're good to go next off you right click on this particular layer and then you rasterize it you're going to press ctrl shift and then you to desaturate this particular image because we don't want to keep the color now you go ahead to the blending mode over here and then you're going to set this one to either soft light or overlay anyone that works for you but then you realize that the overlay has a kind of darkness the darkness is very deep for the overlay whereas the soft light comes in very kind of light so let's maintain the overlay you can choose to decrease this opacity if it feels too dark for you as well but let's keep this particular opacity and let's move on to the next one the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the rectangle from here and we're going to create a rectangle around this side so you can basically create a rectangle like this and then you can press ctrl t to try and transform it to make it come in the middle a little bit like that now you double click on this one you press ctrl a if you are using cs6 and then you can position it in the middle both horizontally and vertically you press ctrl d to deselect it and then we're going to decrease the fill over here so you decrease the fill to zero percent you right click on this one go to the blending options and then we're going to add a stroke to it now you click on the stroke from here and then at this portion you realize that we have the fill type and then you can click on that now the color gives you a solid color and then the gradient will give you a gradient as simple as that so first off let's change this particular size to about 10 and depending on the type of paper that you use this might kind of change so we're going to change this one to gradient because I don't want to use a fill color. And then you realize that it opens the gradients for me. So I choose my gradients from here and I use this huge bunch of gradients over here. This particular gradient is from one of the gradient packs that I downloaded online. I'll try and find the pack and then add it to the resource. But if I don't, it's just a matter of picking a particular color, say this particular color. You choose this one and then in the next one you can copy the color from here you copy the color code and then in the next section you realize that you go up or down of that particular same color and then you try to repeat the pattern and you should have something like this so you click ok from here and at the angle here we're going to try to change it so you realize that the more you drag it the more it changes position so what worked for me was minus 50 you can try luck okay so once you're done with that you go ahead and then you click ok and then you're good to go now you can still press ctrl t to transform this one out if it feels 
so big and too open and then you double click on this when you are done we're going to cut a portion of this particular rectangle but in order to save ourselves from any mess what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this particular rectangle and i'm going to hide the first one so i'll right click on the second one or the duplicated one and then i'll go here and rasterize the layer now once it is rasterized we can apply this particular rectangular marker tool and if you don't know why we rasterize check this video so you pick the rectangular market tool and then you can create a selection around here and then you can hit delete and you would have a space up there so next off you go into our resources and then we have this particular ring over here you realize it from the first invitation card that i created and i've been using this particular ring i think i need to compensate <laughs> the owner so i'm going to bring this particular ring inside here and i'll hold shift and then alt to nicely resize it and then i can hold shift and left click and drag it to this particular place so i'll just place it in the middle of the rectangle and in the middle of the document so once that is done we start to add our test and then you'll be amazed to get to know that the particular vintage that i used in this particular video is a font yes the first time that i saw it i was shocked as well so quickly let's go for our font and the font that i'll be using is called als script i'll leave a link to download it in the description so you come here you left click and then i'll go into my resources over here or my test resource and then i copy the first one which is the invitation i come into photoshop and i'll paste it now i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this one out so something like that and i'll press ctrl a and then i'm going to center it horizontally so once it is here i just push it up on top a little bit like that and then i can go ahead and duplicate this particular image and to do that you press ctrl j on windows and then you can drag it down here by holding shift now this is where the actual magic happens we are going to use the vintage font to design a very nice vintage over here so you're going to select this particular test so you go for the test tool and then you select it all go into your font family and i'll leave a link to download the vintage font so when you install it and check this video if you don't know how to install fonts you're going to type vintage decorations and voila you're going to have something like this so when you type anything any single alphabet on the keyboard it is going to give you a particular set of vintage so this is for q and up to m every single one of them it has a nice vintage attached to it so if you are using the quest keyboard right from q to m you would have a vintage for any of them and even for the numbers one two three you would have a vintage for each one of them so what worked best for me was you right here so i just typed you and then i press ctrl t to transform it and the advantage of using this particular type of vintage is that it is a test file which means that it is a vector file and you're not going to lose the quality so i'm going to position it in the middle and i can drag it on top over here now this video is going to be a lot of copy and paste so i'm going to copy the invitation over here by pressing ctrl j again and then i'll drag it down over there now i'll go into my resources i have this particular set of tests and i'm going to copy that i'll come into photoshop and i'm going to paste it right over here i don't want to use the same font so i'm going to get a new font called railway a link to download it will be in the description so i'm going to scale this one down if you place your cursor here you can scale it down and i'm going to take over here to get it done and then i'll try to use the transformation controls by pressing ctrl t to transform that one out and i'm going to select it all again go to the boldness over here and i'm going to try to select this particular medium italic or oh, that is too bold so let's go for the regular italic over there so you can press ctrl t and you can open it up now mind you this particular invitation the colors were peach and then dark blue so the color that i'm using right over here is called peach and this is the hex code so you click ok and then ok from here and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add their names to it so 
basically you're just going to copy this one again so you press ctrl j to duplicate it and then you can drag it over here you select it all like this and then you can change this boldness back to something like medium or semi bold so let's try medium and then semi bold is here now let's go into the test and we have kenneth right over here i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it over here but i want it in the caps lock so it's going to be kenneth over here and then i'll choose my move to press ctrl t to transform it and then i can open it up a little bit like that now for the second part of the name we want to use the first font so you go pick your font again you right click and then you select the invitation you press ctrl j and then you can drag it right underneath of the kenneth over here so from there we're just going to replace this particular test with the next name which is asante so i'm just basically going to type it so right over here asante and then you can press ctrl t to transform it out like this now the next thing that we're going to do is it has the same pattern with that of the lady so we're just going to select the two so let me bring this one here kenneth and asante i select it by holding control and then i'll press ctrl j to duplicate that i'll drag it over here somewhere around here like this and when you go into this particular one you realize that it has switched a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring this one down here and then i'm going i'm going to push this one on top over there now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring something in the middle of these particular two names and it is going to connect them so to do that i'm just going to type something here and i'm going to type the end sign like that and i'm going to change that one to white color i was trying to use the peach color all along but you can just try different colors as well and i'm going to press ctrl t here transform it out like this i'll press ctrl a to select it all and i'm going to center it horizontally now i'm going to position it over here somewhere like that and i'll go for my rectangle tool from this side i'm going to draw a rectangle a very simple one so very simple and nice rectangle let me zoom in so that i can see it clearly from here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change that one also the color to let me try and go for something like the gold color over here that is the one around the edges so i'm just going to go for this one and when it happens that way let me just try and change this particular color as well so i think it blends well with instead of the white it makes it because the white is almost like the peach so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the rectangle right click on it and rasterize the layer now go to filter blur and then i'm going to use this particular motion blur over here i doubt a lot of people use this so i'm going to increase the distance over here to create a kind of motion around it and i'm going to click ok from there i'm going to duplicate that so you press ctrl j and then you can hold alt and then you drag this to the right side once it is done this end has connected the two so we can move on to the next section so right from there we're just going to select everything from here the asante and to the rectangle copy two and we're going to press ctrl g to group them now we group them in such a way that we can easily transform it and then we can easily position it in the middle so i'm going to press ctrl t and then you realize that the that particular portion has been selected i'm just going to try to transform it out a little bit like that and i can push it up small like this now i'm going to press ctrl a to make sure that it is in the middle and we are good to go the next thing that we're going to add if you come to the test here i have request the honor of your presence and i'm going to select that one as well copy it and then i'll come into photoshop to save all of us time i'm just going to duplicate this particular test and drag it over here and i'm going to select it all like this and i'm going to paste it now i don't want to use the railway again so i'm employing my third font actually fourth one so i'm going to type acrobat over here the regular and i'm going to change the color to white i'll click ok and then i'll choose my move to press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit like this 
and then i can press ctrl a to centerize it now zooming in you can see that i need to push this one up a little bit like this so i'll choose the move tool and then i can push this one out and that reminds me there seems to be a kind of inconsistency in this particular design you realize it from here and this side so let me just quickly change this one this particular test right over here now the consistency is back on what i wanted to actually do was to change this particular colors to white okay and then i change this particular one also to white and then okay from there you just pick this particular request and then you push it up a little bit like that now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the last section of this one and to do that i actually employed this particular vintage here again so i'm going to select that duplicate it and i'm going to drag it down or way beneath here and i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it out but instead of using the same u i actually selected it and then i used z and i'm going to select it all change the color to white and then i'll click ok i'm going to press ctrl t and then transform it out over here like that push it up and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered from there i'm going to zoom in like that you can hold z and then you left click and then it zooms in i'm going to duplicate request the armor and i'm going to bring it down over here now i go into my test resource and then you realize that we have this particular one over here so i'm going to select it all come back into photoshop and i'm going to paste it right over here So from here you can just transform it out some more like this and then you can push it up over here and then when you go back into this resource you realize that we have the last one which is the rsvp you can select that one as well and you can actually add it to this one so you space it out and then you paste it just like that as simple as that here and then you can press ctrl t to transform all of them out like this and then you push it over here i think this one looks way bigger so let me just transform it out so that i can make space for this so you try to basically push them up up and then push this one to up like that and then from there you can basically select this one to make it stand out and you give it a color let's go for something yellowish like the one we use up there and then you click ok and then okay and the last thing that you do is you select this particular vintage font you press ctrl j to duplicate it press ctrl t to transform it you right click and then you flip it vertically so it is going to turn upside down and then you hold shift and then you drag it to the very bottom of the design now the last part of this video which i promised to show you is how you can easily change the background and that is why we used the solid color in the very beginning of the video so let's scroll down and today forgive me because i couldn't actually <laughs> group my layers and that's so weird so at the color fill or the solid color if you want to call it that way you can double click on this particular one and then you can basically choose any color for it now let me see a color from this side and you see this green looks super good super clean with the yellows and the, even the rings in there it makes it look so clean i think i really love this one as compared to the blue black color which one is your favorite and not this particular color only see something here if you drag this one or you select this one and then you drag it to the top see you can basically be dragging it down and then you'll be having different set of colors wow this one too looks good now you can be dragging it down down now let's come to the yellow switch might not be really the best but you can see that you can get a lot of colors so depending on the type of color that you are using you can actually select anyone from here for them and then if you want it even way more darker you can go a bit more darker and darker for any of the colors that you decide to choose and yes that is how you create a very simple wedding invitation card for yourself 
i hope this video was helpful if it was kindly hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the like button as well thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye